Hello YouTube and thank you for watching my channel. Earlier in the week I had my brother show how to paint a model and how to fix it and for his Warhammer 40k stuff that he does. And he's probably going to do a couple more of these because I think it's really interesting how he does it and how he gets these things set up. So what I did is I broke the video actually down into 15 minute parts or segments so that, I don't know about you guys, but I would rather watch it in 15 minute segments than I would just sit down and watch it in a two hour segment. So anyway, I broke it down into 15 minute segments and here's the segments. This is going to kind of be the intro for every one of them and I'm going to number them as we go. So without further ado, here's my brother Joe and he's painting a model on the first episode. He's going to explain the model to you and then throughout the episode he's going to explain what he's actually doing, why he's painting it, why he's found, why he's going to paint it. And essentially he's going to walk you through the steps that he's done and he's learned through his trial and error on how to actually get these models looking so that he can sell them because that's that's one of the things that he does is he sells them to other people to be able to use as well so without further ado here's my brother Joe thank you okay there we go that should be a lot better whoops this isn't actually the one I want that was a waste. Alright, this is the brush I want. Because it's a little bit smaller. Okay, now. Hmm. Still not quite doing the desired effect that I want it to. It's more like a, doing a wash than anything else, I guess. Oh, well, let's try seeing it as a wash, see what it will do there. Maybe it'll still add that little extra something something as a wash. Because I do want it to look sort of alien. I mean, because they are alien. remember what he, name he gave the tattered thistle home world that'll probably come up in another one of my paintings because I got a few more of these I got to do for one thing each one's gonna be slightly different style of cat anyways I'm gonna do a plains cat um, I think I might do an actual tiger now if you notice washing I'm not so much doing the regular wrist on wrist thing but that's because you don't really have to worry as much when you're putting on a wash as when you're actually painting because the wash is a little bit more messy and wants to be messy because it is the designs all right now eh. we'll see how that looks when it dries but I don't think that's too bad making it look like an alien arctic cat give them a nice silver chameleon sheen all right let's go ahead and i think move on our next step is to actually start detailing the sister itself or herself that's actually moving on to her now for her let's clean this brush off it's not so good that it started fraying like that All right. Oh, stretch my legs. Okay. Let's put her armor back to being all gray. Instead of the little tiny white blotches that came from. Boop. There we go. All right. Paint right over that. There we 
go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we're off. And we're off. And we're flying off our own little machine. All right. There we go. See, that's why you don't have to be quite so worried. Oh, I forgot some places on the saddle. Especially since you'll notice all the time while you're painting parts of it that you forgot. Which is also not good, though, actually. Because forgetting parts leads to not doing parts. Not doing parts leads to the model not looking quite so good. And we want our model to look quite so good. Well, more than good, actually. We want it to look really good. There we go. All right, boom. Now, her armor is actually tinged, like all the other tattered thistle, with blue. Now I use a nice enchanted blue. Um, again, I'm not sure if enchanted blue is the current Citadel name. Oops. It makes the sucker up a little bit better. And actually, it's a very small detail work. I use this little bugger. You know, it's only got a few hairs still sticking out. It's one of my ones I've chopped up quite a bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's start this detail work. We want to put the rims of her shoulder pads in blue, or her knee pads in blue. As well as these rims on the boots. And now sisters always have that little tiny metal, uh, little part that goes down the middle of their leg here. And so we want to paint that on so that way she still has and looks like a sister. See, just like that. Maybe a little bit darker for the blue paint. I don't know, it's starting to break up on me. I'm probably going to have to reconstitute it soon. Which is just shaking it up mass for mount. There we go. Paint design. There we go. We want this sucker to look and act like a sister. Now let's go ahead and put a little straw there. Maybe flip it around a little bit and make it look like one part of a Ford light because the sim symbol of the Sisters of Battle is a Ford Alley. There we go, nice and get the rims on her shoulder pads done. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah. Sisters, I guess that one of my favorite armies. I actually really, really like how they're designed. Like, you know, get rid of the boob plate and I'd be 100% okay. I can deal with the sister battle boob plate, I think, because of what it's made out of. The fact that 
the sisters. It's made out of ceramite, a really uh, ceramic and heavy metal like creation. So it's not just, you know, the metal boot plate where it's just, you know, that's asking to die, get killed. But yeah, uh, there we go. I actually probably should have painted those pants white now that I think, now that I'm getting a closer look at them, I'll detail them. Which will happen to you all the time. You look at something and you go, huh? So that's what that actually is. There we go. Now I also want a blue detail. Her horn, her trumpet backpack. Just because I like it. I like the idea of her trumpeting out, you know, holy hymns while she's running along on her beautiful Mount Raoul there. That I actually really like how that silver wash came out, made him a lot more reflective. You could see that guy hiding. Well, you probably wouldn't see him, but you could see <laughs> if you could, you would see him hiding <laughs> out in the, uh, out in the frozen wastes. Alright, there's that. Now let's go ahead and blue tint around. The nozzle of it. Give it a nice detailed look. This blue I'm definitely going to have to water down with paint thinner, I think. And then just kind of scrub it around because it's not, it's not happy. Yeah, the pigments in it are really starting to thick out. I think it dried out a little bit somehow. I'm not sure how, but I think it's got, uh, dried out just a wee bit. And so I'm going to have to put in some paint thinner or something to give it a little bit more liquid. Right there. And let's go ahead. And detail. It blew up like that. around the neck and then I think we shall even detail the back a nice little blue line of the back of those spikes I think that'll make it look really nice it's nice there we go. Then we should also, since we put that blue rim around the top of the trumpets, let's go ahead and put that blue rim around the bottom of the trumpets. There we go. There we go. And then we got to detail her van braces. Put that nice little blue line around her van braces. Make the model look a little bit more complete. So a lot of what we're doing right now is we're tying the model together. It's 
a lot of where the detail work is. Just making the model look like a model. Alright, that's starting to look really good. Okay. Oh, that's sticking to my arm. Alright, now let's go ahead and detail his armor. Get that blue. And make him look more, a little bit more like his rider. Nice little blue lines along the trim. Give it a nice blue trim. Nice blue trim. Because I think that nice blue trim looks really nice. said this blue is starting to get worn out kind of mix up a little bit more throw you over there because you keep sticking to me you're getting a little wet da, 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 da. all right there we go Thank you for watching um, how Joe paints and explains and looks at these models. Now, like I said earlier, these are broken up into parts, so please stay tuned for the other parts as well. As he explains and breaks down what he's actually doing with the models and what he's actually painting them. I know that you guys don't really want to listen to me when you're looking at these models, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys just like, subscribe, leave comments about what he's painting. Maybe you come up with other ideas or other things on how to do models as well, whether it's Warhammer 40K, D&D, &D, or any other type of models. Now, if you have come up with more information or you want more information from Joe, please do leave a comment below. Also, like I said earlier, please like and subscribe. That means a lot to us. That, that shows that these are the type of videos or types of information that you want getting out there. Because like I said, this, this um, YouTube is just kind of a random. We believe in fun and we believe in education and we want to get it out there. So again, stay tuned for the other parts. And we'll go ahead and get you on to the next one. Thank you very much.